So check it out. What's going on? It's your boy Jay. This is the Sneaker Hype. And we got a new topic to talk about today. Now, this past, uh, last week, I posted a poll on a couple of Facebook pages just to get some answers. Now, the question is, where do you guys like to buy your sneakers the most? And there was plenty of options and there was a good amount of answers. I think everybody on these Facebook pages that gave me an answer, I appreciate it. It goes a long way and it gives us something to talk about right now, especially with you guys' answers. And I'm going to give my favorite places and reasons why in this video as well. So let's get into it. Now I gave about 14 options, but two of the options got didn't get any votes at all. And I'm sad to say those two options are Bodega and Olympia Sports. No, I'm sorry, not Bodega Olympia Sports. It was Laced and Olympia Sports. Now a lot of people don't know Olympia Sports do does get retros, most retros, uh, most of the general releases. Probably nothing exclusive, but it does get retros. I guess it just depends on the area. Now the one in Galleria does. I'm not sure about any any other Olympia Sports, but you know I would definitely take a look at a couple of those before you know you count it out. Uh, the second one that didn't get any votes was Laced Boston. Now Laced Boston is a boutique. Um, around Mass Ave and uh, near the south end near near New uh, Boston. It's a boutique They do have a lot of like it's it's basically a resale price and most of the prices are kind of high I'm not throwing shade to the place. The place is dope. The place has been there for the longest I can remember I guess people just don't like it because of the pricing and you know Some of the stuff you can find for a better price if you look elsewhere or if you just wait it out but um, yeah, it was surprising that they, that place didn't get any votes since it's been open for so long and and so well known. The place that got the least amount of votes, which was only one vote, was Bodega. That's why I got confused in the beginning. Bodega only got one vote. Now, Bodega is also a boutique. Now, Bodega is so dope. Uh, I remember when I was a kid where Bodega was such a mystery, such a... Like, yo, where's Bodega? How do you get in? I hear they have a sliding door and a whole bunch of this and that. Now, they do have a sliding door. When you go in... Um, it looks like a regular convenience store, super small, but then in the towards the back, there is a big just Snapple vending machine door and it slides open. Motion sensor, of course, you walk in and then boom, you're in the sneaker spot. And then, and then I believe there's a first floor, like a bottom floor as well. I've never been in. I've just gone into the, the top floor. Now, they don't have too many retros. They do have like wide threes for like five something. They do have a bunch of dope like Air Max, just a variety, New Balance, so Saucony, and just dope. And they have a bunch of apparel, like streetwear apparel. Now, it's a, it's a dope place. I'm just, I'm also surprised it only got one vote. It's, it's also located up the street from Lace, like on Mass. Have, it's definitely a dope place to check out. I've only went I've only been there like twice, but it is it is pretty dope And it's just a nice experience now There are four places that tied at had only two votes and those places are a wall Which is in Austin Brighton. It's also dope. It's basically it's not a resale boutique It is retail like they do have stuff for retail. They have a bunch of dope stuff Um, They do get retro they do get um uh, releases I believe they do get NMDs and ultra boosts as well, but I've, I've mainly seen like retros There is one over there in Austin Brighton. I believe there's another one in Providence, Rhode Island, if I'm not mistaken, or is it low mass? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, don't flame me. Uh, also, the other uh, place was at uh, number two, with only two votes was Eblins. Now, Eblins, there's plenty around Boston. There's in uh, the, there's an Eblins in the Saugus Small, there's Eblins in Mattapan, there's Eblins in Dorchester, I believe. There's Eblins, man, there's, there's plenty of Eblins around. There's it's 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 not a bad store. It's, it's a dope store. The, the apparel that they got True Religion in there. They got a bunch of other streetwear. They carry Nike. They carry Adidas. They have some dope, dope throwback jerseys inside. The hat selection is crazy. I love it. They got plenty of that hat. Plenty of those exclusive like snapbacks. Also retail like the shoes. They get they get all the releases. Um, you have to make sure you check out each and every spot. Definitely check those out. I'm also surprised they only got two votes because I do know a lot of people that go check out Evan. Um, two other options that got only two votes they're not actually places one that got one of the options that only got two votes was on these facebook pages and then the other one was ebay now with ebay a lot of people are super super skeptical how can you not be there are a lot of people trying to um, sell fakes just like on these facebook pages you really got to be careful i feel like you're more protected on ebay because with you know we got you're protected by PayPal and this and that. If the person tells you it's 100% authentic, you get it, and it's not authentic, you can get your money back. It takes a it takes a little while, but you are protected. You will get your money back. So I still think it's you know it's better of a risk because you know nowadays 
when you meet up on these Facebook pages, you don't know who you're meeting and you don't know if you're set up. And definitely when you're meeting up somebody on these Facebook pages for shoes, do not go alone. That's like the number one rule I would say for yourself. It should be never go alone when meeting up somebody. And if you absolutely don't have to, don't meet up at night. And if you're meeting up at night, like I said, don't go alone and go to like sort of a public place. You want to meet outside of a police station and outside of a, a store, somewhere where you know it's it's well populated area and people are going to be around. If not, if you meet up during the day inside a mall, also meet in front of a police station, school, something like that. So, you know, nothing, nothing goes wrong because if, you, if you've seen the news, you've seen online, you've seen a lot of things go bad in some places and it's sad it's really sad that you can lose your life over a pair of sneakers it really is now the only place with three boats stuck in the middle uh would be sneaker junkies now if you haven't heard of sneaker junkies they're right on newberry street there's also a location in providence rhode island, rhode island near um RISD, uh, rhode island school of design it's like within like sort of the, the the school complex if you will both stores are dope only the um rhode island location i believe gets retros or has that um gets most nikes both get nmds both get a, like a lot of those dope adidas both locations are super exclusive a lot of patriots players a lot of um celtics players a lot of athletes a lot of you know well-known people shop at both locations you just got to be lucky enough to be there when they're there i love love the setup uh, my favorite part about sneaker junkies will probably be the throne chair inside the setup is pretty dope and It's in a well populated area. They they do get a lot of people traffic I would say in both he um, Newberry Street and in Rhode Island. I lo uh, I really dig both of those places They're pretty dope now three places are tied at four votes now The first one was is the vault now if you don't know the vault lifestyle boutique is located in Lynn, Massachusetts I'll, um, to all these boutiques, I'll leave um, directions to them in the description below if you want to visit them and haven't already. The Vol Life, you've seen in a couple of my vlogs, I've gone over there, played the Keymaster, they have a Keymaster. They have so many dope retros, so many dope sneakers. They get stuff early, so if, you, if you're the type of person that likes to get their shoes early and don't mind paying a little bit of extra, I would definitely go visit them. Like They got the cough, the Cause 4s. The foam posits don't come out till next week. They got those already. OVOs, Yeezys, NMDs, Ultra Boosts. All that exclusive stuff, I would definitely go check them out. Prices are not always bad. It's to each his own. Some people don't mind paying that high price. Some people do. You know, if you don't like uh, paying those high prices, then I, I would definitely not recommend that place to you. But if you if you just want to experience it anyways, I would definitely go take a look. Like, it's worth the experiment. Shout out to Scott, dope person out there. The people, they're cool out there. You know, no, no real problems, no scamming. Everything's 100% authentic, legit. Those, those guys are for real out there. Now, the other two places that were tied at four votes were Champ Sports and Foot Action. I personally like both of those locations. Champ Sports, if you don't know, and a lot of people don't, like it took me a while to realize they do layaway. So you just have to, and it's crazy, you wouldn't think layaway on a pair of shoes, but they do layaway. Even on, on new releases, I've seen them do layaway. And you basically put down a percentage plus five bucks which is the hold fee, and then you just pay it off. I think you got like 30, 31 days to pay it off. There's more details to it. If you want to find out about it, you should definitely go to a Champ Sports and ask an employee. But I definitely love that part about it because especially, especially if you're trying to get a hold of these kicks and you know, sometimes payday don't come that fast and you want to get a pair of shoes, just put a little bit of cash out and then when that payday comes, you ball out and you cop those. I mean, there's no shame in how you get the shoes as long as it's legit and a fair way to get the shoes. Uh, Champs, they do get a lot of NMDs, Ultra Boost. I like their selection. It also depends on location as well, but I definitely like the Champ Sports in Galleria. The Champ Sports in Downtowns get basically everything. I would definitely check that one out as well. I like I like Champ Sports and they, they do have a points system as well. Now, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs, and Finish Line, they all have a point system. I'll get into those in a minute. So, yeah, Champs, you get the app, you'll get a point system. I'm not sure how those work because I don't do it. Now, the other place that got four votes was Foot Action. Now, Foot Action is, I, I like Foot Action a lot. I love their selection, especially in the Saga Small. Saga Foot Action is probably my favorite one. Second favorite would be out in Dedham. A lot of people don't know there's one in Dedham in the Providence, like, mall complex over there definitely go check that out that 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 foot action do, definitely doesn't um get much um traffic and so they definitely have a good selection on the wall i would check those out their um point system is is cool i have it on my phone right here bam come on come on foot action as you can see right there it's loading star club member they're gonna show you i've spent 50 bucks this year there and if it says if you spend 225 dollars in a year you get uh more with your gold status you'll become a gold member and then from then on whenever you spend ten dollars you get a hundred 
No, whenever you spend $100, you get a $10 reward. $150 reward, you get $15 reward. Um, you get $200, you spend $200 in a purchase and you'll get a $20 reward. Now, that's what I like about that. I'm still, you know, a little bit away from becoming that gold member, but, you know, I'll get there. Now, next is Full Locker that got five votes, which I love Full Locker as well. They basically got the same system setup I'll show it to you right here full locker what i like about the full locker app too they have like the sneaker emojis those are pretty dope too you can text those but i definitely like foot locker, for foot locker especially the ones with the house of hoops now if you don't know where the house of hoops ones are there's one in galleria mall there's one in downtown boston both are dope both are exclusive they definitely got a good selection when you're trying to get retros, when you're trying to get them new releases, definitely check out both of those foot actions. Now, the downtown foot, foot locker, I said foot action. The downtown foot locker does a lot of first come first serve when it comes to releases, but the one in Galleria does do raffles most of the time, a lot of the time, because it's inside of a mall and they don't just want people waiting and, you know, waiting outside crazy. Now, with this VIP bang, I'm up to i'm actually up to three yeah i passed the 300 point mark so dang i'm a platinum vip member check that out homie i'm a platinum vip member now anytime i same thing with the the foot action whenever i spend hundred dollars i'm gonna get that ten dollar reward whenever i spend 20 no 15 i'm gonna get the 15 dollar reward 20 20 200 20 dollar reward just like that if you if i'm talking a little too crazy you don't understand download the apps and you can check it out for yourself i would definitely recommend that huh shout out to natalie one time it, it was her last purchase that put me over the edge so i can't wait to get that those rewards at foot locker because i'm definitely trying to cop a pair of shoes there that i've been waiting for a while now next in front of foot locker at six votes six votes is finish line i love finish line i love their point system you don't have to spend a certain amount of money to become a gold or platinum member or whatever if you you just sign up you become a points a points member whenever you spend 200 um, every dollar is a point so whenever you spend 200 dollars and you gain those 200 points you'll get a 20 dollar rewards and then you have like i want to say like probably a month or a month of some change to use that 20 dollar rewards and you can use it on releases new releases i used it recently on the on the royals 160 went down to 140 and i got two pairs that i love finish line they definitely have a lot of uh, great selection i love when they have all the prestos some of them have the ultra boost nmds the retros actually the funny thing is in pbd uh, mass at the north shore mall i saw they had a cement four jordan cement four size 17. now i posted that on my snap so if you don't have my snap i'll leave that below i posted that picture that was like a, like my head and some change like uh, a head and a size of mine crazy I don't, I don't even know what i'm saying right now but it was super big but i love finish line i would definitely go check those out the best finish line i would say is puberty for me anyways then oh here's a call hello where are you at oh you're on the vlog right now you're on the vlog right now say what's up you're on speaker oh so i just found out that wwe live is going to be in providence on friday on friday we, the tickets are $15. I would definitely, I'll work, I'm down for that. Alright. Looks like we're going to WWE Live. Now, not to change the subject, WWE Smackdown Live tonight is in Boston, Massachusetts, but we didn't get tickets. I think we're just going to sit home and watch it from home. I think now I'm going to just do the rest of this vlog with um, the championship belt in my hand. Like I was saying, finish line, very dope. I love finish line. Exclusive. The selection is great. Prestos, NMDs, Jordans. Now, at number one with eight boats. Now this is this this store is only located in Boston, Brockton, Providence, Rhode Island, Connecticut. Sort of like an exp sort of like a Eblins, but this is called Expressions. Now Expressions is super dope, well known around Boston. If you if you pretty if you collect sneakers like that, if you're buying shoes and this, this and that, it got eight votes out of all those votes. They do get retros. They don't get like the super hyped up like the premium fours. They didn't get those sixes the all gold sixes they do get yeezys they do raffle yeezys away and they are only available in certain locations like downtown american legion um rosendale i believe american legion rosendale roxbury i'm sorry and they're raffled off winners pick it up and that's about it there's no first come first serve afterwards now yeezys they do get them at finish line foot action i believe those are not other two dope locations if you're looking for yeezys and sign ups they do raffles definitely you know go in store and do that now when it comes to foot action and finish line the raffles are in store foot locker the raffles are in store you go sign a ticket you throw it in the but in the box and that's it expressions the raffles are online only you go to expressionstores.com and usually the saturday 
up till Monday 10 in the morning, you have to sign up for the raffle. You can only sign up once. If you sign up multiple times with the same name, you get disqualified and this, is not. And then you'll find out the Thursday or Friday before via email or phone call if you want the raffle. You get to pick up the shoes on Saturday morning. You have between 8 and 9.30 to pick up the shoes. And then whatever's left over um, at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, you have to pick up. Um, they become first come, first serve to the public, whoever wants to grab them after that. I love expressions. I definitely like expressions. There's no member discount point system, none of that. That's the only downside. But otherwise, other than that, they do have a nice selection and the prices are are very cheap and very a lot of shoes go on sale you know fast there and the, and the apparel selection is dope when it comes to nike tech fleece and all that as well and they do have some of that on sale as well so i would definitely check out all those locations if you don't know where they are i can't name them all go to expressionstores.com and you can see if you live near one now those are all the stores that got that were posted in that poll and all the votes so at the top was expression stores which definitely shocked me i thought full locker foot action or anything was like that was going to top it off but no expressions did shout out to expression now my top three places i would say top five to shop top five top five places to shop at are going to be finish line foot locker foot action champs and then expressions i would put expressions last just because all those other stores have point systems and i have point systems the apps for all the point systems and it definitely goes a long way when you're buying shoes because that discount twenty dollars ten dollars it goes a long way that ten dollars that saves you could go to lunch it could go to a t-shirt or master shoes what are, what are your you know what are your top stores you like to shop at comment below let me know where you like to shop at why if you if you know any of the dope locations like i think the 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 gallery the Foot Locker and Galleria has a better selection than downtown. Some might some people might think otherwise. Where do you think you know of the Foot Actions, Foot Lockers, Finish Line, Expressions, etc.? Which locations do you think are the best? And uh, we can let people know where where to shop. You know what I'm saying? And we can share the wealth and we can share the knowledge. So um, that was this video for today. If you got through it to the end, comment below top three. And um, I appreciate it. it. Goes a long way. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. For the WWE World Heavyweight Champ. I think I said it wrong. It's the WWE World Heavyweight Champ. Something like that. Anyways, hit that thumbs up for the champ. We're all champs out here. Love the sneaker community. Love you guys um, for subscribing. If you haven't already, please do so. Make sure to share the video so other people, you know, can join us. Uh, get along and join us in this, uh, you know, sneaker hype life that we're living in. That's another text. That's my brother. So I'm going to go talk to him right now. He's here from work and we're going to buy these tickets for Friday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.